you with yet another DJ's Brewtube beer review. You know what, guys? If you've watch, been watching DJ's Brewtube long enough, you know that dessert ain't my thing. Cake, ice cream, candy. I'm not down with that, but I'm down with some liquid dessert. Hell yes. So, what are we going to do to get our liquid dessert fix on? A little sweet, tasty beer? Well, we're going to go to Belching Beaver. <laughs> what a name. Belching Beaver Brewery out of Vista, California, slash San Diego, California, U.S. of A. Yay, yay. And we're going to have their peanut butter milk stout. Now, this beer was sent to me by the awesome Average Joe. Thanks a million for, for sending me this beer, Joe. If you would like to see Joe review some beer, check him out on the Albano Rhinos channel. He does plenty of them there. Th Joe, you know, you know what I think, man. You the man, my brother. Anywho, so, peanut butter milk stout. You said, DJ, you, you reviewed a chocolate peanut butter porter before by Duclaw, which I think was probably the originator or the one who put the match on the gasoline of this whole peanut butter and kind of chocolatey flavored beer style. And, you know, I was digging that beer. I gave it like an A minus, I think, if memory serves. Now, this is a milk stout. I really like milk stouts. It's clocking in at 5.3% ABV and 30 IBUs. For ingredients in this beer, Belching Beaver's using, I can't not laugh when I say that name. Anyways, they're using, let's see, water, malt, hops, yeast, lactose, natural flavor, which is probably peanut butter extract or peanut extract, something like that. Oats and ethyl alcohol, which our friends yeast create. Yes. Now, Belgian Beaver has been around since 2012, and this beer I think won some this and the beer that it was based off the uh, their Belgian Beaver like milk stout um, has won some gold and silver awards at the World Beer Cup and all that fun stuff. So it must be a pretty tasty beer. They say on the back of the bottle they're making this because everybody said how that much they liked it. I suspect they're probably making it because they know they can make some money off of it because chocolate peanut butter flavored beers are pretty tasty and they're popping up all over the place it seems these days. So I'm going to stop flapping my gums, pop the top on this, get in the glass and tell you what's up with the Belching Beaver peanut butter milk stout. Let's see what we got going on. Boom. Nice big hiss off the top. Unremarkable crown we won't collect. Plenty of smoke coming off this bad boy still. Let's get in the glass. Oh, it's nice and dark. Real fizzy sounding head. I don't know if you can hear that or not on the camera, but it's real fizzy sound. Let's see if we can get a little elevation. There we go. That's better. All right. So, got the beer in the glass. Super dark brown head. Pretty tight bubbles. A little tiny soap sudsy here and there, but it's dissipating pretty quick. Um, looks like a, a lot like an export stout in the glass. Um, or maybe, you know, well, I guess some other milk stouts look like this. I think a Lancaster milk stout looked like this a lot, too. But anyways, uh, head's dissipating down to one finger now when I swirl it. No alcohol legs. Oh, I can smell the sweetness of the peanut from here. I, no alcohol legs to speak of, but I can detect there's probably some glass lacing off this bad boy. It's quite dark. There's some red glints coming down the bottom where the uh, stem connects on the glass here, but it is a quite dark beer. Take a look at that, guys. Really nice looking milk stout. Nice dark head on it. It's appealing to the eye. Let's see if it's appealing to the nose. Let's check out the aroma. Diving in. Man, right up front, peanut butter, lactose sweetness, chocolate, a bit of coffee and toffee. Caramel, but that roasty, yummy peanut is in the background. I don't know if I get a whole lot of malt roast, but I get a lot of peanut roast. This has a bigger peanut aroma, I think, than Sweet Baby Jesus does. Sweet Baby Jesus is a porter, so it doesn't have this lactose sweetness that's in the, going on in the background here. This smells more like a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, I think, than Sweet Baby Jesus that I've had. But not to compare the two, but they're they're different animals, right? Because this is a milk stout, so it's going to have more hair, hair and sweetness and all that. But I do think the peanut butter smell in this beer is bigger than uh, Sweet Baby Jesus. And the chocolate is more of like a fudgy chocolate, like Tootsie Roll sort of chocolate aroma. But smells good enough. Not real complex aroma, but you don't expect it in a beer like this. I'm diving in. Let's see what it tastes like. Cheers. Thanks a million, Joe. Hmm. Up front, you actually get that fudgy chocolate, that sort of Tootsie Roll tasting chocolate in the front. Lactose sweetness, so the milk stout flavor is a little more forward. Decent amount of peanut in there. And the peanut and like roastiness of the malt and like roastiness of like roasted peanuts or peanut butter is kind of like the aftertaste. It's got a medium thin body to it. You expect it at this kind of ABV and this sort of, man, milk stouts usually aren't the thickest. Could maybe use a little more body, but I'm drinking this about like 52 degrees, which I think is about right for this beer. Nice taste, really easy to drink. Lower ABV, about 5.3%, like I said, but no alcohol in the aroma, no alcohol in the taste. 
And like I said, the aftertaste is really pleasant in this beer. The flavor tastes a lot to me like Sweet Baby Jesus, which I've had several times. Um, there's almost like a, a raisin taste in the background and like a burnt sugar taste almost in the background of this as well that's going along with that roast. But it is what it says it is. It's a milk salad. It's got that nice lactose sweetness in there to kind of tame those roasted notes of the of the malt as well as the roasted notes that are coming from the peanut butter extract or flavoring they're putting in here. But really tasty beer. Well done. Um, you know what? For, like I said, it is as advertised, and a lot of time these days, beers are not as advertised, and that's a cool thing about this beer. Plus, it's not real high ABV, so you could handle this bomber and not have your socks knocked off. So, what do we grade a beer like this? Rate beer is given a 96. That's an A. I don't know about all that. Beer Advocate's given a 92, which is an A-, and I think I'm going to go with like a 91, A- minus myself. I think it's a tasty beer. Um, it reminds me a lot of Sweet Baby Jesus, just a little more sweet because that's a porter base and this is a milk stout base. But flavor-wise, to me, it's a lot pretty much on an equal plane, but I do like a little bit more the sweetness that the lactose brings in this to interplay with the roast, and I, I think it's nice. Plus, it's really drinkable, smooth, and it goes down nice. So, if you've had this beer, let me know what you think about it. I like the quid pro quo. I like that back and forth. I also like it when you think globally, drink locally, and support the craft beer movement, because that just freaking rocks, because it helps this stuff grow, and we get more beer breweries named freaking Belching Beaver and crazy-ass shit like that. You know what? In Virginia, there's a brewery named Licking Hole Creek. What the fuck is up with that? Anyways, that's another story for another time, isn't it? So, to the next DJ's Brew Tube, thanks a to each and every one of you for watching. Remember, rate, comment, subscribe, and hit that like biz button, because that makes me put my happy face on. So, until then, I got nothing but a <laughs> bunch of Belgian beer, uh, Belgian beaver beer drinking love for you. What a fucked up name. <laughs> and until then, that's a peace out.